all the stars, they're all lining today. It's National Pet Day. It's Monday, my favorite day of the year, I think. So here to celebrate this National Pet Day is the Valley Animal Center. Hello, Ruben. Who do you have for us today? I wish these guys could meet in person. Hey, everyone. So with me today is my little buddy, Doug. Now, Doug is a roughly one-year-old, um, you know, he, he looks like a smaller pity mix. It's hard to say exactly what he's mixed with, but, but like I said, he, 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 I wouldn't say full-grown, but he's a fairly small, large dog, if that makes sense. Um, but he is a very, very shy little boy who originally came to us from the city of Kerman's Animal Control. And unfortunately, after being found as a stray, was not able to find his original family and so now he's in our care looking for that perfect fit okay doug is so cute how much does doug weigh um you know i would no more than 30 pounds probably oh wow uh, I don't have, yes he, he's a fairly small dog like i would be surprised if he was over 35 at the most um but, but yeah, um, based on, so our, our, the way we age our animals is off their teeth, kind of what the maturity yeah. of their mouth looks like. And like I said, he's, he's got an adult set of teeth, which is fairly uncommon for a dog who looks like a six-month-old pity. Yeah. And, uh, but, but, no, he's definitely much more mature than that. Um, he's already neutered. And, you know, like I mentioned, he's a little shy with his first introductions to people. You know, when he first got here about a month ago, he would never sit in my lap like this, you know, and it's taken some practice. But, you know, with, like, the people he meets on a daily basis now, it's a little bit of shy introduction. But once he's comfortable, and he is a very food-motivated dog, as you'll see, he's very happy to eat treats out of my lap. Um, but once he's comfortable, he really does warm up. So what kind of household are we looking for for Doug? You know, for a dog like him, it's nothing that's tremendously specific. You know, I do think he would adjust to a family setting. You know, I would say young toddlers are maybe going to be a little frightening to him at first just because they're kind of going to be at his eye level. They might be a little loud. I have young kids. I know what that's like. Um, but, you know, if, if there was a older couple, college student, you know, young family, um, somebody who travels, really somebody who's – Looking for a kind of road partner or just a partner in crime for them? You know, yeah. I think he would. Oh, Doug is so precious. We need to get Doug into a forever home. Now, Ruben, I got to ask you because it's National Pet Day. You uh, actually have a lot of pets. Am I right? Yeah. Tell me yeah. about why having a pet is so great and why, you know, why you find good pets in dogs and cats and, you know, what kind of joy do you get out of having a pet? Uh, you know, I, I owe a lot to pet my pets. You know, uh, uh, the reason why I'm in this field, in a sense, is because of my animals. You know, I've always told myself if, if my pets were ever going to have to be in an environment like this, you know, how do I want them to be taken care of? But, you know, I, I've had pets since I was a young kid. You know, in the, the hardest times of my life, I've always had a pet to come lean on to. You know, uh, um, my boxer Tyson, who's no longer with me, I think about that dog every day. But he was probably one of the biggest inspirations to me getting involved in this field because, um, you know, I lost him in a very, you know, a, a quick manner and, you know, a, a, it was unfortunate. Uh, but again, you know, I, I owe a lot to my dogs and, and cats in a sense that, you know, they're the reason why I'm, I'm in the field I am in today. There, there is no less judgmental thing in your life than a dog or a cat, even cats sometimes can be judgmental, but there, there is nothing that will love you more unconditionally than your pet. And it is so, it feels so good to have something to give yourself to that's totally dependent on you and that loves you every day when you come home. Nobody in my home is excited for me to come home except for Waylon. And so we want Doug to be that for somebody. If they are interested in adopting Doug, how can they come visit him, see if it's a good fit, and take them home. Yeah, so we're open seven days a week from 10 to 4.30. You guys are always more than welcome to come down to the facility and get your eyes on him. Uh, we do have an application we have you fill out. If you'd like to get a head start on that, that can be done at our website, valleyanimal.org. Um, and you can also view his profile, see some pictures of him, get an idea of what his care is going to look like in the future. Um, but and you can also give us a call. Uh, we're always available to answer questions, and we're happy to invite anybody down. All right, Ruben Cantu from the Valley Animal Center. And Doug, thank you guys so much for being here today on National Pet Day. Let's celebrate all of these dogs and cats today. Stick around towards the end of the show. We celebrate National Pet Day with some more furry friends. And we'll watch Waylon. He knows tricks. So stick around till the very end.